How to tell if someone is a pseudoscientist? Number one, they try to disprove or make claims beyond the scope of their field or speciality. An example would be, William Dembski is a mathematician trying to argue against evolution and genetics, something way beyond his scope of knowledge. Number two, books and not peer-reviewed papers are published by them. Any schmuck with a laptop and an idea can publish a book. It requires the ability to have your evidence stand up against the rigors of peer review that all ideas have to go through. Lay people don't have enough information on the topic, but they will eat it up if you present it in a logical but ill-informed manner. This is not to say there are not the occasional amateur scientists that are published. It is very rare, but it has to make it through peer review, which is made up of people who spent their life studying that specific field. Number three. Claiming persecution by the scientific community. If your theory holds value, weight, and evidence on an issue, just like in court, no matter how crazy and unlikely the idea is, it will win in the end. Whining about persecution to the layperson is a PR stunt, a smear tactic, and no more. It does not give your idea any more credence to stand on. If a scientist's idea is not accepted to begin with, he or she will adjust their controls and go back to doing more research so that they can prove it better or find out they were actually wrong all along. Vilification is useful for the gullible, but emotions and facts like to disagree a lot. Number four, use of private and fake peer-reviewed journals. It sounds sciencey, so it must be true. These are attempts by people who could not get their ideas published in a real journal, so to appear legit, they publish and peer review, aka agreeing with everything the other person wrote. In a real journal, the burden of proof is on you, and every dot and cross is scrutinized in case you had an error about something. The massively embarrassing errors known to the scientific community that make it through fake peer review are staggering. All of these are used by creationists, cryptozoologists, alien visitation proponents, intelligent design proponents, many alternative medicine practitioners, and paranormal proponents.